Oh, I didn't. I thought, no, I did. Hello and welcome back to Snowdrunner. I'm MJ Haggis. We are in Aftershock. We're going to try and uh, get our Tataran back to the garage. We've got this one. I got him back to the garage, no problem. As you can see, I parked him outside. Still 21 litres of fuel left. Not a problem. It was a little bit close, but that's fine. So we're going to stick him back in the garage, get him fully fixed and re-kitted out. And then we'll head back to the airport to go and fix up our Tataran. And then we'll get that back to the garage too. Uh, after that, well, we've got a well, we've got a couple of things we could look at. Oh, fixing vehicles wise, we've got the uh, no, we've got the Tega still on this road. We've got the Kodiak C70 way up here. Another one. Uh, I'm not too sure that could be probably a little bit easier. He seems to be fully functioning and have a little bit of fuel left. And then also we have in the distance. Oh yeah, we've got the anchor way up there. Plus we've got the Ford sitting slightly off the road up here, just up the road from the Chevy. Okay, what one's that then? Snow gave out is the Tega. The Ravine... Doesn't matter. Oh, there it is there. It's that one. It's in the ravine. Okay, that's fine. Sussed sort, sort that one out. So we could go back to more vehicle rescuing, especially since we've got the Tataran. It is mighty powerful. Useful tool to have in the garage. It's just not the fastest. So getting up to these places might take a wee bit of time. However, we've got that. Also, Polar Expedition. We've got the camp build now to do since the road is clear. So we've got to figure out how to get all of these things up there. Four consumables, just a total of eight slots. I'm assuming the special cargo is still a single slot each. In fact, we could jump into the Tatarant and have a look. So eight slots. So I'm thinking that might just be two runs. We could, well, and mm, okay. Well, what I'm thinking now is we use a, buy a six slot trailer and we'll get the consumables and the special cargo from the airport up, and then we'll jump into a normal load bed, the two-slot load bed, without a trailer, and get the fuel up. So at least that's a, a little bit different. Right, okay, we'll come to that, but that's that's pretty much what I'm thinking with that. First things first, though, let's get this in the garage, get him fixed. All done and dusted. I think we'll have more than enough in in fact, I should really check. What do we need to fix them? Just enough fuel. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Let's leave. Let's get on the move. Now, uh, while I'm going this way, where, if you remember at the beginning, we found yeah, we found a gooseneck semi-trailer. I've parked it up there on the road somewhere. There's the possibility that there are cargo that you can use in the back of that yard area. I never saw it, and it's not highlighted on the map. Because normally if you find things on the map, it'll, it'll just highlight it. As in, it'll name it. So maybe we'll have to go for a wee drive around that garage area again and see if there is something that we can use it'll be interesting i've got a funny feeling though that there'll be more aesthetics it'll be the, the correct items that you would normally use for contracts but it's only for show that's my guess otherwise the slabs are at either end of the airport and away at the, the destroyed docks why would you go there if you don't need to and again, I've yet to go through more of the contracts to see if we do need more slabs. That'll be fun if we do. Right, okay. Another fine day in British Columbia. This is British Columbia, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it was, BC. Straight onto the road, didn't stop. Yeah. 
clever use of the highway code. Right, a. Uh, what do we go for after we've got the Tataran back? Shall we go? I'd like to get the recoveries done, because more vehicles is always good, even if it's the Kodiak and we end up using them as an item to sell, because then we could maybe buy something else. Uh, the Kodiak's not really something I can see us needing. The guy parked this wee guy. There he is. Yeah, I don't think we'll need a Kodiak, so that might be on the sell list. Hello. Ready for some more repairs. How much do you need? Another 401 that I caused damage. Ouch. Right, okay, let's do the whole lot and the last tire. Absolutely spick and span. And now we can give him some fuel that he won't leak out. His roof rack's empty. So we'll give him from myself directly. We'll go for... In fact, we'll just go for the lot because I'm going to get the as of now again back to the garage. But I'll do that myself. Let's stop the engine. Change the truck. Let's test drive. Did that not get... What did I do wrong there? Roof rack. Taran. An idiot. Idiot! Right, now we've got some fuel. You need to restock your roof rack. That's better. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in one of these. Oh, I didn't... I thought... No, I did that jumped out at me. It's embedded itself into my chassis. Get off! Oh no. That threw itself through the tent. I'm... I'm... <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going back to the garage anyway. Okay. Slow steering, yeah. We've got... It's not the quickest. That's okay. Do we take this up into the mountains and see about a rescue, though? The other one that's, that I'm not overly keen on keeping, if we got it, is the Ford FLT 9000. As far as I'm aware, that's just a highway truck. And I've done very little mileage in one. Only because I think I sell it and buy something slightly better. So, um, we could restock this thing, send it up. The problem with the FLT 9000 rescue is the fact that the truck goes one direction and the trailer goes another. The trailer goes down to actually where the fuel station is that seems to be not functioning. So we almost definitely, well, we definitely need a truck with a low saddle to go and grab the trailer. And then something to pull the truck. Where am I going? He's just, again, talking, not looking. Just following the road. Um, or do we go into the next contract for the cam? It kind of doesn't really matter. Now that we've got the roads more open, we can kind of pick and choose to mix it up a wee bit. I'm just looking at the, the cruising literage per minute. It's, it's about... It was about five a minute ago. Now up to six. Oh. Going into a speed wobble. Straighten up. That's it. Yeah, six per minute with 300 litres. I thought it was maybe worse than that. That's, we've, we've had worse, that's for sure. And we'll have worse again, especially once we get the tank Mark 38. That's worse, by a long way.
nice and easy up and over. This has saved us so much time, that bridge. Okay, I think what we'll do here, we'll go straight into the garage with this. We'll not, we'll not um, go scouting for those parts in the other garage where that gooseneck was that I was talking about a minute ago. Let's just do that. Slightly later, it right. We're fully restocked. Okay, back in the map. If we were to get the Tataran up, got a little bit of fuel there. That's 450 liters, so that's not bad. If we are taking the Tataran up, we can restock Chevy Kodiak. Where do you actually want to go? Yeah, it's not a, you right well this is the 9000 so yeah this guy was wanting to go back to the garage and the trailer is down to the fuel so there we go so the fuel's the easiest bit once you get it out there right not that one it uh, is it in the distance then oh no oh the kodiak's ours as soon as we get to it because it's highlighted and i've been an idiot it's early in the morning right okay question is then do we go f if we go up there can we get further up the hill and just grab that and then keep heading up i think we should use a crane for that to be honest and try and pull it up that might be a good job for the azov with the low saddle already and the crane we could probably get them both vehicle the trailer and truck up onto the road take the fuel down the gas then head back along the road and grab hold of the truck to get that back to the garage yeah okay maybe we will go for the flt 9000 because that's going to get the fuel trailer i wonder if we'll get to keep the fuel trailer does it say that in the ravine we do get the fuel trailer as a reward and the truck and 25,000. Okay, right. On that basis, let us just retain this truck. We have. Okay, let's just bring out the little scout just for. We're going for a quick recce. Deploy and out. We're going to have a quick look at this, say, slabs or whatever, metal rolls, whatever it is that's down at this other garage, just to confirm. This way. Of course, this will only take a couple of minutes. Whoa, understeer. It was in this on the right. Well, that's definitely not metal rolls. Nothing we can use there. That's metal beams, but that's, again, that's just for show. Gooseneck was sat here in front of us. And there is nothing else here. I'm tucked around the back. Nope. Unless this is to become a warehouse at a future date, because it does look like it could be, and maybe that's what they were thinking about, if it be, if, it, if that's the case. But there's definitely nothing in here, nothing that we can use. Oh, serious understeer. There's nothing in the back of there. No nope. caravan. I'm going to spend the night there. I'll be two caravans. That'll be cold. I did just spot something else we need to do, and because we're in a scout vehicle, this is perfect. We need to get rid of this the prototype exploration unit that we parked up at the gar at the trailer shop. We'll quickly do that while we're out and about. 
clear some space. At least we've got some use out of this wee guy. And we'll sell that for 5,800. Thank you very much. Right, so we've, we've managed two small things there, so that's not bad. One turn. So we go back into the Azov 7330, it would appear would be the most logical truck for the next stage. Where is he? Oh, he's away up at, <laughs> he's away up at the airport, isn't he? Come on then, let me look. Right, okay, time for me to once again head back for a restock. So I will see you at the garage. Hey, which way am I going up the hill? And I need to get the right contract up. That would always be wise. I think the easiest way would be the Scoey 100 was here, right in the middle of the map. And I reckon if we just carry on up that way past the Tega. Uh, where does the Tega want to go? Sorry, I know I should know this already. It wants to go there anyway. So we could also do the Tega. Azov could just pull it all the way up and get that dropped off. Then we can... Right, okay. Tega is... Oh, I'll get there in the end. I will. I will get back to the garage. I'll get restocked and then we'll carry on our merry way. We need... 600-ish fuel's going to be the biggest problem because if I empty out the Azov into the Tega we're going to be pretty much empty especially by the time I get there however if we did en route with the Tega manage to pull the fuel trailer out we could sneak a little bit of fuel out of that okay I'll be heading back to the garage I'll see you shortly Nowhere near that tent. I've already tidied up. Yeah, I bet you have. Get rid of the evidence. Right. Okay, welcome back. I made it back. I'm refueled, restocked, ready to go. It's early in the morning. I will get light hopefully quite soon. I've set a route. But it's, yeah, so it's quarter to eight in the morning. There's the route we're going up. Quick stop at the Tega and then up to where the fuel trailer is. That's as direct as I can make it, and I know we shouldn't be able to manage that. Let's get on the way. Time is ticking. So we've got a big old truck to get up there, but I think that this combo of service add-on and low saddle is is definitely just so convenient, it's the right way to go. The only thing is we'll have lost our tracks in the snow for my little shortcut that I found. Cuts across. Not too far up ahead actually. I'm going to try and do this with as little damage as possible, because I want to spend all the points we need Possibly for the Tega. And maybe if the Ford needs a little bit of a touch up here now. That rock is shining so bright. It looks like a big lump of gold. We've struck gold. We are minted. Ah, maybe not. But it did look like gold. Nice and easy over the rocks. Shame we don't get to use the Tataran for this, but we'll find another use. Okay, okay. Nice and easy over this one. 
Hop, Hugo. Nice. Good. Onwards, and most definitely upwards. Go down initially. Well, we didn't come out there, did we? Was it here? And not up there? I reckon... Right, let's just get rid of that one. And we'll put the waypoint there. And that's roughly where we're trying to sneak through to. Going to be a few more flattened trees, unfortunately, but that's just the way it goes. A big rock there. It is a big rock. Okay, let's. Kind of wanted to have verge down to the right a little bit. We need to go over this rock here. Slide over. Ah. Don't go over that one, just that's it. Kind of there. Behind that tree. I can't see a thing. This is probably not the way I came through. Excellent. And we're right at that junction, ready for in this way. Shorter the route we can make it, the more fuel I get to keep in this thing. That's already 50 litres gone. I really hope... Oh no, I just realised we don't have a crane. That service I don't removed the crane. Uh, okay, hopefully we'll be able to hang the back end of this thing off the end of the road. And we'll be able to link a winch point down to the truck and trailer. Again, take it easy. Don't even want to damage the fuel tank. I can help it. Hey, good. Yep, and we're off. Okay, I'm going to go to the right of that lot. These are a lot more forgiving than big boulders. Okay, nasty little junction. We'll get in there. Go up left. Saw the yellow marker there and was about to carry on. That's just typical of me not watching the waypoints, just watching the marker. Now we're making good progress. Tegan would be actually a nice one to put the two slot road bed on or when we come to do the other contract that requires the fuel. That'd be quite nice. Nice and simple for the little Tega. Say that now, but 
Yeah, it does have the balloon tires on. I'm just thinking more for stability because I'm not ranked high enough to put the balloon tires on, I don't think. I see you, Tega. You're going to be going that way, so I kind of need to pull the back end towards me. And let me pass. On. Are they in there? No, there's nobody there. They've left. Okay, let's repair. Here you go. Yep. And we need a total of 616. Tires are okay, though. Done. Fuel. We'll worry about the fuel later because we still need to get it up to the relief camp. Let's just get it up to the road. It's got 72 litres in it. Not pick that off just yet. Really, you... What did you pick up? The smallest tree in the world. Why do you just connect to that one? Okay, where are we off to now? And again, the Azov's pulling that really not too bad considering... The Tega's engine's still off. Might put it on for this climb, though. Let's see if it makes a difference. Engine on. I still keep an eye on where I'm going in the snow. Oh, easy peasy. Six hundred and sixteen repair parts. I mean, there's not many roof racks and add-ons you can put on to get that many repair parts. So you almost have to use the service van add-on. We're going up towards that big whatever structure. Still playing on the mountain. We will be at the top. We go into high ratio and direct quicker. I always think we road way down that hill there. Suspicious clearing in the trees. Nice to be up in the sun, get a little bit of heat through that windscreen. on the road. Don't know, we'll just keep going up all the waypoints. I know there's the road of the ski jump. Let's take that nice and easy. Without high centering it. Bigger. His engine back off. Down to 45 litres of fuel, so that's that could have been worse. If we can get this trailer up down here, 
We've got oodles of fuel. Watch it. Pega doesn't crash into the back of the new rope with his engine off. That trailer's in a position that doesn't look too bad for pulling it up the hill. Ford itself, not so much. Your engine on. The leash in. Uh, stop there. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, that'll do. The right, engine back off. Release the wind. You stay there. Breaky. Yeah. Not like I can even drive forward. I'll never get up that snowbank. There's that truck. There it is. There. Right, hands up. All those. I think this is going to go horribly wrong. Whoop. Okay. Good thing is the winch point's nice and high, so I'm not going to be trying to pull the truck downwards into the ground kind of thing. It makes it a little bit harder. Let's just get that winch point there, because we've got him. We got him. That was good. Another perk of having a long truck for this. I'm just going to pull him forward, hopefully get on his wheels. Oh, he did as well. Okay, that's a nasty uh, snow banking. Here he comes. Okay, only problem is now I need to get him out of there. Right. The problem with the long truck is you don't get much behind you for space. So let us move back a bit. Wheel him in as far as you'll go. Front wheels are coming off the ground and let's try and get around this corner. Without pulling him over. Here he comes, here he comes, oh he's up. That went really well. Get him out of the way. But if we do get the fuel trailer up, we need to get space to manoeuvre. Right, you stay about there. Quick check of his condition. Whatever service parts we've got left. <laughs> oh man, that's why we need the Tega. So we need to get the Tega up. He'll hopefully be fully stocked and then we can bring the Tega back and fix him. Tires and all, but we can put the tires on him. At least that's something. And we've got 184. Might as well. In fact, no, I'm not going to use it. I'll keep him 184 for me in case I get damaged. We'll use the Tegas. Right, let's see about this food trailer now. about right there, so let's just tighten the rear line a bit better. Problem is I see a big boulder that I'm going to attempt to drag this over. Might move, I'm going to move over to the side a little bit more. Might be able to get out in a one or there. Please reach. <laughs> No chance. I am not wanting to go down there. A little bit more realigning so I can hang the back end off the road like I did before. Whoop. Handbrake on this is shockingly bad. Knowing my luck, it's just the back axle. So I've now got no handbrake. Oh, I did reach it. Please tell me I reached it there. Let's pull it in. Oh, it's a tree! Could have sworn that was a petrol. Oh, it's not. It, I think that is it. 
it cannot be far off connecting if it's giving us the winch point like it did before. Let's get rid of these. There we go. Get a bit of room. Okay. I'm reluctant to knock that last wheel off the ground. What have we got in front of us? Winch points. Anything. That one. Yeah, well, you know where that's going. Nothing. Oh, I did check that before, but... Okay. If we were to... If we were to pull the Tega up a little bit closer. Just use it as a winch point. There's zero... Maybe this tree here behind me is solid. Maybe that one there. But that's it. We're trying to get back up onto the road. You are absolutely in trouble, shall we say. Right, I'm going to roll it back. I'm just going to do it. Okay. We are right on the edge. If we can't get it now... so close okay you know I'm not going to push my luck I'm going to get this Tega delivered and at least maybe get the Ford what are we doing time? oh time has ticked on let's get the Tega done we'll worry about the Ford and the trailer in the future come on so frustratingly close. I really, really do not want to have to bring a big crane up and pull it that way. The problem is we don't have fuel now. It's little things like that. I use all those repair parts. Move the way down this one here. At least we'll get a Tega. Well, we did also technically really get our Tataran, so it's, I, I, I class this episode as a bit of a success. Tataran's probably the only one that I would probably feel more comfortable putting off the end of that road back there with the strength it's got to pull the trailer up. And it's less tippy. The problem is, is the support legs of the trailer do tend to catch on things. It just makes it so much more awkward. You must have been so close with those winch points to get it catched. of obstacles. That was quite a landslide. Well, I'm going to release the winch there. Oh no! I felt that the tag was too close and it was effect It was lifting me up off the ground. Oh, you poor little thing. Right, come on. Never over until it's over.
Hey. Come on. Stay there. Thank you well. Whether you stay on your wheels is another question. Go for this side. Was over except for that boulder. Did you? I'm gonna pull him. He's got damage. He's hooked on something in the ground. Come on, Tega. Up you get. There he goes. I'll do that. Don't want to cause any more damage because it can be pretty catastrophic. Especially if it's a little glitch of sorts. Again, the last thing I need to do is fall over myself. He's in there. It's a better distance, I think. Come on. Okay, we're starting to breathe again. Yes, right, where's this road up there? Oh, don't... I missed it. Yeah, I know, it's there. It's so close, okay. It's not a disaster, let's put that back. Oh man, Tega, I'm gonna try and turn you round. Might just pull him in reverse. Just to make it even more awkward. Not exactly the most obvious junction. I should have remembered though. The winch a little bit shorter. He does follow me. Up we go. When I plan these like contracts out in my head before we start recording, it goes so much better and quicker than this. Funny that. Can't use high ratio, it's just spinning the wheels. It's your cheeky little Lodestar, waiting to get back into action. I don't even recall if he's still got... He has got fuel on his roof. That could be mighty useful. I'm down to 200 litres. Okay, let's do our final fixes now that we're here. Okay, go back a little bit. I might reach actually for the repair. Vega, yes. Oh, get rid of that again. Fuel, refuel. 
from the Lone Star in cab supplies of the Lone Star. That will do me. Hey, okay, we want to go to the Tega. Done. He is up and running. Let's just get him in the zone. Close. <laughs> going in there okay going at an angle <sighs> yeah happy with that finally so that was the snow gave out I swear they had a nice view I guess must have been a scary ride on the side of that cliff yeah I bet it was 10,000 cash 1500 XP no promotion. All right, and then we've got three vehicles up here. Park that one there. Top engine. Change truck. Can I reach bigger? Yes, I can. Set that gladly. And now, repair. We have a full body. Ready to go. Full tank of fuel. Nice tires, engine wise, don't know yet. It's got a decent gearbox. And now we can go and get the Ford. At least get the Ford down towards the garage. I'm probably likely to head to the garage anyway with the Tega. But I'm going to call it there. You want to see what happens next? What disaster I can get myself into? Please come back and join me. Thank you so much for your time. You will see me again soon. Bye for now.